so guys i recently came across this really cool text effect and i'm gonna teach you how to recreate it today before we start make sure to check out my gumroad store for some free and some paid assets and yeah let's get started so the first thing you need to do is create a new file of course um, you can use any resolution you like i'm using 4k which is 3840 by 2160 the first thing you need to do is write some text so i'm going to write murky just for this video next thing you need to do is make sure the fill color of the text is 50 percent gray so you can either drag it like this or just write 50 here which is much easier the next thing we need to do is double click on this layer here and add bevel and emboss uh you can pretty much replicate these settings right here of course you can mess around with the settings yourself to get a different type of look for example you can add chisel hard instead of smooth totally depends on you and you can mess around with the file yourself i'm also going to leave the psd in the description so you can download it but yeah these settings work really well you can close that now the next thing you need to do is group this text layer like this we can call it text after that we need a new blank layer and then we are going to do a gradient from black to white and you can do top to bottom or bottom to top totally up to you i'm gonna do it like this make sure to clipping mask it and put the blending mode to overlay and call the layer overlay just to keep it organized the next thing we need to do is add a gradient map layer like this and also clipping mask it to the text and the gradient map should be colorful kind of like this one black to white and then colors in between you can mess around with it yourself add different colors but i'm gonna leave it like this because that's what i did in the original file right here now we need to add a curves layer between these two layers and you're gonna do that by going here clicking on curves and then we need to mess with this graph now so what works best is just making a couple of points that go zigzag like this i mean you can already see the effect but we can do more points like this totally up to you we can add another point but yeah you get the idea also you can go to the overlay layer and use a black or white brush to get an even more cooler look so it's not just straight you can add like you can click anywhere on the text or outside to make some different type of curvatures like this and i can switch to black and then like this totally up to you guys so feel free to mess around with it you can select individual letters and then click around to get a random look like this and then we can add some subtle details i mean the text is pretty much done but in the original design i added some light and a flare or a sparkle whatever so we can do that easily by creating a blank layer making the blending mode a linear dodge using a brush select a dark purple and then just click it anywhere on the text or just at one point and that's it for the light and for the sparkle new layer use a white brush just click it anywhere and then scale it to make a line like this and then duplicate it command j rotate it a little bit merge those two layers with command e and then use a white brush in the center of this like this that's too much maybe maybe smaller one like this and then boom you have the sparkle in like 20 seconds and you can put it anywhere you like probably somewhere where it's really bright like this and maybe even smaller 
it's not a perfect sparkle of course but it works it does the job and that's it and if you want to add some grain like i did here to make it even cooler because grain makes everything cooler uh, you can merge all the layers here shift command alt and e or shift command option and e go to filter camera roll filter and go to grain and increase it to around 35 maybe and that's it if you want to mess with the colors here you can do it as well or you can mix you can mess with the calibration section here however you like but i'm gonna leave it the same for the sake of the tutorial because this is what i did in the original one and that's it that's pretty much it i hope this tutorial was useful to you guys and i'm gonna leave the psd down in the description and also if you want to support me make sure to check out my gumroad store where you can find free or paid assets that will help you in your design and yep that's it see you guys in the next video peace Thank you.